What's up guys, what's up YouTube? Um, if you ever bought one of these nylon coats or even your tents, okay, sooner or later you're going to get a hole in them. It's just the way it is and things wear out. Um, I ended up with a hole here, as you can see, okay, and um, the hole was created by my German Shepherd. That's who did it. She jumped up on me, her nail pierced the coat, and there we go. And then you end up with, um, you know, feathers protruding out of it. Now, you could put a piece of duct tape on it, but um, it ends up leaving some residue along the nylon, which isn't very good. You can stitch it with a needle and thread and then use some type of, like stitch in a circle, and then use some uh, silicone to make it somewhat waterproof. I really didn't like that option. didn't seem very, I don't know, professional. This stuff is called repair patches. I got it in black. It comes in many different colors. Okay. And um, it's tenacious tape. And it's actually better than duct tape. It even says better than duct tape right on the packaging. It's four or five dollars. Um, when you put this on, you don't want to cut a square per se here. Okay. Because then the edges can grab and then that'll come off. So you literally want to kind of keep it as a circle when you put it on. And if you can, put it on both sides, but with a coat, we can't. We can only put it on one side. But if it was tent, you would put it on both sides. So I'm going to cut a circle out of this and uh, put it on top, and we'll be right back. Now, as you see, I cut kind of like an oval. I suppose I could trim that up even just a little bit more. Okay. But that's what it's going to look like when I finally get it on. And then uh, all we do... That's the first time I've done this. It's not like I've done this a hundred times. So we're going to peel it off. Okay. So we peel this off, and then uh, all we do is stick it down. Make sure that's nice and uh, flat and pretty. And then, we're going to put that down on there. It's really sticky. And we're going to rub it down on it. And this stuff is... Um, a little bit flexible, not too bad. And came with two circles. Came with two of these, okay. And it even came with one of these, so I guess you could use that on something. If you want to have the word Tanisha's tape on it. So, there we go. So instead of using duct tape or looking all unprofessional, you may want to go spend the four or five bucks, pick up some Tanisha's tape. And um, you can fix canvas, nylon, and mesh, rubber, vinyl, and plastic is um, what it says here. And like I said, it's only 4 or $5, and you can wash it. So, removable with no sticky mess also. You can actually pull that off and not have a sticky mess is what you can have, okay? So... If you haven't thought about this stuff, maybe you want to pick yourself up some tenacious repair patches. Whether you sleep in a tent, hammock, I'm sure some of you got nylon bags, um, nylon coats, everything is nylon to make it extra light. So having some of that, you can keep this at home, you don't have to backpack it with you. But it's nice to do quick repairs when you need to so your items will actually last you longer. Catch you guys later.